Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. For this video, I'm going to be making another custom press-on set. So I'm starting off with these short coffin nails and I'm just taking some clippers and cutting them down. And then I'm going to be adhering the long tapered coffin half nail tips using some base coat gel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of the nails. And then I'll also go in and file them where the two nails meet so that I can make sure they're nice and smooth. I also wanted to go ahead and do my featured comment, so thank you so much for your comment on my previous video. I really appreciate it. Now that I have the nails shaped up, I've dusted them off and now I'm going in on this middle finger because I'm going to be doing an encapsulated design. So I wanted to go ahead and do that first. I went in with some base coat gel. I didn't cure that in the lamp. And now I'm going to go in with this glitter mix from one of my subscribers. I'll leave her information in the description box. But I'm just going to take a brush and just place those glitter flakes all over the nail. I'm trying not to put too many large flakes and then I'm also making sure that they're not overlapping. I'm trying to make sure it's as flat as possible because I'm going to be encapsulating this only using base coat gel. So once I have all of the glitter on, I'm going to put that in the lamp and then I'm going to go ahead and go over all of the nails with three coats of base coat gel.
Now that I have the three coats of base coat gel on all of the nails, I'm going in with this white gel polish and I'm going to do two coats of that on the pointer and pinky. And then I'm going to go over it with pink jelly polish. The pink jelly polish that I'm using is from a McCart nail kit. So I'll leave that in the description box along with my McCart coupon code and everything else that I'm using. But I also wanted to mention that for the encapsulated nail, it did come out quite smooth. It's not bumpy like I thought it would be. So this is definitely a good encapsulation technique if you ever want to do something quick over your press on nails but i'm just going to go in and do that and then i'm going to cure it in between each coat of gel polish I'm now going to take this jelly color that's another color from that same McCart nail kit and it's a nice shimmery color so I'm going to go in with a few coats of that. I think I did about three coats just because I wanted to build it up and I was trying to do that so that I could kind of cover up that line where the two nails meet because I planned on doing a very high French on this nail. So yeah I'm trying a new technique for French tip. Usually I use my French tip tape but this time I used a different tool so let me know what y'all think of how this French tip nail turned out.
While I have that nail curing in the lamp, I'm going in on the thumb and applying a layer of top coat gel. I'm then going to pour some of this glitter over it and I think this nail turned out super cute. It was my first time putting this glitter over a clear nail, but I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of bling to this too. So I just went in with some of the McCart Nail Rhinestone Glue and put it in random places and then I just went ahead and adhered some different size rhinestones. On the pointer finger, I wanted to apply some of these pearl charms. I thought these were so cute. I've seen Femi Beauty and a few other nail YouTubers use these. So when I saw them on AliExpress, I had to grab them. So I just went in and applied the nail rhinestone glue. And then I'm just going to place two of those on the pointer finger. Then I'm going to cure that into place. I'm also going to apply some rhinestones along the French tip line on the middle finger. Um, I'm calling it a French tip line, but it's really the line where the two nails meet. And I'm just going to use that to just kind of make it into like a bling French tip but that's all of the bling that I'm going to add to this set so then I'm just going to go in and top coat it and I am going to add matte top coat to the pinky I absolutely love the way that this set turned out. I think it's super cute and girly, but still pretty extra. So I just wanted to show how it looked both inside and outside. So here are a few videos and pictures, but I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Bye.